Oh, hello there. This is Promethean Day 1 Mr. Fields Rundown here. And so I'm walking into the classroom just like you are going to walk into the classroom with your computer from uh, a school over there. And then uh, you're bored. And so we're going to figure this out, thing out together. Now, I've done this before, but I'll talk through it for you. So the first thing is we need to connect to the board with our computer. This is a TV, but really it's, it's a glorified, you know, huge tablet. Okay, that's how you can think of it. It's made by Promethean. They used to make boards, but now it's like a tablet. So we can touch screen it and all that stuff. Okay, so how do we connect? Well, <clears throat> there is a Bluetooth connection using this app called Screen Share which I don't use in this room because this room, the Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection is slow. So I connect using these cords over here. So you should have a HDMI cord and a really long USB cord. It doesn't have to be long because <clears throat> we're just going to connect it to the computer. So right here. Right there. Okay. I'll give you time to connect as well. Usually, can put my computer on a desk. Okay. Now we're gonna log in. Logged in. So now I'm gonna turn the TV on with the power button there. All right. This is my first time turning it on this year. I'm noticing it's updated, but we'll see what that does. So there's arrows on the three sides of the screen, so we can access the same menu, just wherever you want to see it. It's a fancy update here. Okay, so there's our toolbar. Um, and so now the first thing I do is connect to my computer because that's where everything I have to pro project is. So I hit source, and you can see uh, we are home right now, but I have HDMI too. That's my computer that I plugged in. So press that. Let's see what happens. Aha, uh -huh, that's my computer screen right there. So now uh, the thing is, uh, if you only plug in with the HDMI, then you'll still you'll see the screen, but you won't be able to uh, touch the board and control your computer. If you plug in a USB cord here, which by the way, on the, in case it's not plugged in for you already, you can choose any HDMI port, but then right underneath it, you'll see a touch uh, thing. And so you want to be plugged into, right now I'm in touch two for the HDMI and the cord. Okay, so now for me, what I do is I go to my internet browser, I was just in this leadership meeting. Okay, but let's say I'm teaching, right? So I will go to my lesson. Uh, okay. Open up my lesson. I use this website called Notion, which I'm sure I will show you because I love it so much. And so this is just <clears throat> where my lessons are. So then I Pulling up my lesson, I have my warm up here. A nice thing about the internet browser is if you press function 11 and then it turn, takes away that toolbar. Uh, and then, so now function 11, so then get rid of that. And now, uh, using Notion here, my website is the full screen. So that's my, that's my objective. My warm up here, can zoom in a little more using the my two fingers to zoom in just like you would a tablet. Okay, and now when the students come in, they can see the warm up, you know. And so I can type on the computer here. Uh, I can, I mean, I guess I could type, but we don't really do that. What we do with the board is we annotate. So then if you press that arrow, uh, you know, you're going to want to annotate, right? 
Now, the annotations are not saved. You can use a website where you annotate like Zeitboard or Miro, and then you can write on the board and it will save on your computer. Uh, we can also use the Promethean stuff to save to the board, but then it doesn't really save to your computer so easy. So just keep in mind that if we use the annotate feature like I'm about to use, that it's not going to save the computer. But for me, I don't care about that. Uh, that's not my objective here. Okay, so now I'm going to annotate. Okay, so my warm-up here says list as many geometric formulas, terms, definitions, concepts as you can. Number and organize your list as you go. This is my day one geometry if I'm teaching geometry. Okay, so then now, you know, uh, you can have the student write, you can write, and so now it's time to write. Well, I've already lost my pen that they give me with the board. I think it may be in my desk somewhere, but as the year progresses, that may not be the case. No problem. I can use my finger to write. I can also use a pen cap or something. So I'm going to use the top of this dry erase marker to do some writing. So how about... Point. Oh, good, good answer. What, anyone else? A oh, line. Okay, good. Line. Any other geometric terms? A oh, plane. Very good. And so on and on we go. So that's the first thing. You know, plug it in and then uh, use it to annotate just like you would on a whiteboard, but you get your computer lesson right there right away. All right. So let me pause the video and see the next thing I want to tell you about. Okay, I just thought of the next thing I'm going to share. Um, so, all right, so we talked about annotation. And the next really common usage that I would use is the timer. Um, so, if we want to find the timer and some other tools, hit lacquer right here, and you can see settings, chromium, blah, 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 all this stuff. Spinner, that's a cool app that uh, I look at and say, ooh, how would I use a spinner? I could use a spinner, but then I've never actually used the spinner. But possibly you can, and then we'll talk about that. Uh, but timer, definitely. Nice and easy to use. The spinner is great for everything. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to rocker and open timer. And we have our timer. Uh, you can have more than one timer going at a time. You just press the plus button, but... We're just going to start with one. So I want everyone to do a brain dump here. That's my warm up, as we've said. And so I want to give them, you know, three minutes. So I say three minutes and go. And now they can see the directions. They can see the timer. And I can circulate. Pretty simple, right? Uh, but you can, you know, adjust. Just press the settings. Change it to an uh, analog. You can't. Change the sound, sound volume, and so on. Okay, so that's timer. Next thing I want to show you is the whiteboard in the board software. So if we go to that button there, whiteboard, it's right there. And my annotation is still there too. Uh, so I'm going to press X, clear out of the annotation. And wow, this is... This is from last year. Uh, so what is this? This actually looks like my computer, but it's not. It's an image that I captured, and I can even... Uh, now, this is important. You're going to be capturing images, and you're not going to realize. You just keep overloading up your board whiteboard with lots of files from your computer, like images from your computer. And your board, if you never erase it, will start to run slow. You can see how easy it is. Uh, I really, okay, I re I, you know, you don't even realize you're doing it. So you can either tap and delete like you just saw me do, or you can press the three dots up here, and you can close everything. And I think that that gets rid of everything, too. So whiteboard is... Uh, you know, it's your standard whiteboard, um, 
except with the computer. So we can we have all these tools we can use with a ruler, a protractor, right here, this circle protractor. And then again, uh, there's another protractor too. And you just move it around with the red dot. And again, when you want to get rid of something, you can um, well now how do I do it? I don't use this tool all that time. Mm -hmm. um, Clear the board. See? Now, see, look. Can't, I can't clear it up. I've forgotten how to clear it up. So, what would you do at this time? You can, let's see if we can just hit new. Oh, we hit new. Okay. So, we'll figure that one out together. But I don't really use those tools. I didn't even really uh, start out with the whiteboard. So, if I take you back to what do I do? Okay, as we know, source. I start out with my computer screen, and then let's say I want to uh, write on it in a way that will save, or maybe in a way that I can unplug my computer and move around, do something else with it. I can press this next thing, it's called capture. <clears throat> and then I capture and I open it in the whiteboard, and now it's an image. And if I unplug my computer, then I can use it for whatever I need to do, collect data, answer emails, email home for someone who's not you know, doing what they're supposed to. I don't know. But now the same directions are there, and uh, we can use them. Uh, there's, so explore each one of these buttons, and don't be intimidated. Uh, if you don't know how to use it, just press it, and then uh, you know we'll talk about it together in the training. I am th this video I'm just showing you the general things so you can get started and not just say I don't know what that is. And then uh, <clears throat> anything that I haven't answered in this video, uh, we'll talk about during the training. Okay, so I hope that's good. And so that is really that's really the basics of what I wanted to talk about so that you can get started and now you've watched this video and what I would like you to do is enter into the Notion database that I'll be sending out um, what you have done to explore and then we'll have our training and we'll talk about all your questions and the things that you figured out and bonus points if you figured out how to get rid of the tools. I think I'm going to go do that right now. I figured it out, just wanted to let you know. So when I couldn't delete it earlier in the video, I was pressing the red dot and that moves it around, but there is an X right next to it. You see? Boom. And then it's gone. All right? So see, if you get stuck, don't be embarrassed. Just figure it out. Put it in the organizer. We will work on it together. All right, see you guys at the training.